Welcome to your spring wreath DIY tutorial. First, you'll need a few supplies, a hoop. I used green ties and you will also need some scissors and something to hang the wreath. And you might have a helper like me. Thanks, Watson. So to begin your spring wreath, you will need a pair of scissors and a basket I use to go and collect some fresh things from the garden. You'll want to collect some things to use as your wreath base. I really like to use flexible branches. These can be taken from a tree or fern is also really nice. And whenever you are foraging, just remember to only take one or two branches or leaves from a plant and leaving the rest for the wildlife. So gathering a few different types of flexible greenery and once you're out in your garden, you will start to notice that there is a lot more than you actually expected. So it's a great excuse to get out into the garden. And so this greenery will be used to fill up the base of the wreath. I also had some pine growing in my garden and pine just dries so beautifully. So this will also be added into the wreath. Once you've collected your supplies, you can begin to build the wreath by laying out the materials and starting to build the shape and design. So using the green ties, you can begin to connect the greenery to the hoop. You can start to layer the different types of greenery or flowers filling any gaps as you go. I really love to add a focus point to my wreath, so that's why I'm using the base and the baby's breath at the bottom. And you can add other things like pine cones or feathers, different types of flowers. And once you are happy with this, just making sure everything is snugly connected. Then attaching a string or a rope so that you can hang the wreath on your front door. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this foraged spring wreath tutorial. I would really love to know what flowers and plants that you've used to create your own wreath.